10 Amazing Facts About Carnivorous Plants. Venus flytraps, nature's snap trap. You've probably heard of these guys, but they're still mind-blowing. The Venus flytrap has these hinged leaves with sensitive trigger hairs. When an insect touches two hairs within about 20 seconds, bam! The trap snaps shut, trapping the bug inside. But here's the crazy part. The trap only seals completely if the insect struggles. If it's just a false alarm, like a raindrop, the trap reopens, saving energy for a real meal. It's like the plant is playing a game of gotcha with its prey. Cobra lilies, sneaky snakes. Hold on to your hats, folks, because the cobra lily is a master of disguise. Shaped like a cobra ready to strike, hence the name. It attracts insects with sweet-smelling nectar. But here's the sneaky part. The fangs of the cobra are actually translucent patches that let light in. This disorients the insects, making them think they can escape through the windows. Instead, they just keep bumping around inside the pitcher, eventually tiring themselves out and falling into the digestive soup. Total mind games. It's like a botanical escape room with no escape. Dewey Pine, sticky situation. All right, get this. The Dewey Pine, or Drosophyllum lusitanicum, try saying that three times fast, is like the ultimate clean freak. It's a carnivorous plant, meaning it eats bugs. But get this, it's found in sandy, nutrient-poor soil where fires are super common. So, how does it survive? Well, when a fire does blaze through, the dewy pine's sticky secretions actually helps it burn faster, clearing the area for its seeds to germinate easier in the newly ash-rich soil. Talk about playing the long game. It's like, thanks for the assist, fire. Dinner's on me. And by dinner, I mean hundreds of unsuspecting insects. Hold on to your hats. Waterwheel plants are crazy. Okay, picture this. You've got a plant, right? Normal green does the whole photosynthesis gig. But wait. The waterwheel plant, scientific name Aldrovanda vesiculosa, if you're feeling fancy, doesn't just chill and soak up the sun. This underwater ninja is a carnivore. Seriously, it's got these tiny snap trap thingies that look like miniature Venus flytraps. When a teensy insect or little water bug swims too close, bam! The trap snaps shut faster than you can say fish food, and it gets digested. I know. It's like a plant-powered monster movie happening in your local pond. They are super rare and amazing and one of the fastest trapping plant species on Earth. Monkey Cup Cafeteria Hey there, plant pals. Ever heard of the monkey cup or... Neponthes mirabilis, to get all botanical? These super cool carnivorous plants aren't just pretty faces. People have seen monkeys drinking rainwater from them, earning them that nickname. But get this, in Australia, some clever researchers discovered that these plants have developed different sized traps, specifically to attract specific ants. The bigger cups are for bigger ants. It's like they've designed a tiny ant buffet. It's nature's own little restaurant, serving up delicious doom to unsuspecting insects. Who knew a plant could be so picky or so sneaky? Philcoxia, a subterranean munching mystery. Hey there, curious minds. Ever heard of a plant that prefers dining underground? Meet Philcoxia minensis. This little botanical bandit from Brazil doesn't get its nutrients from the sun like most plants. Oh no! Instead, it has these sticky glue-covered leaves under the sand that capture, wait for it, microscopic worms called nematodes. That's right, it's like a tiny Venus flytrap living a secret life in the soil. Scientists used to think it was just catching falling debris, but nope, it's a worm-eating champion. Talk about a surprising menu choice. 
And get this, because it lives underground, it's super hard to find, making it a rare and mysterious plant indeed. How cool is that? Trephiophyllum, the plant with multiple personalities. Hey there, plant pals. Get this, Trephiophyllum peltatum, a super rare vine found chilling in West African rainforests, is like a plant with multiple personalities. As a baby, it's a regular leafy vine. But then, bam! It grows super sticky, flypaper-like leaves to catch unsuspecting insects for a protein-packed snack. Then, get this, if it really likes its spot, it transforms again into a climbing vine with totally different leaves. Seriously, it's like a botanical superhero with a secret identity crisis. Talk about commitment issues or commitment to survival. Whoa! Vacuums of doom. All right, plant pals, buckle up for this one. Picture this, a plant that's basically a living vacuum cleaner. The bladderwort, a totally sneaky aquatic carnivore, has these tiny little bladders underwater. When a teeny tiny bug swims too close and brushes a trigger hair, bam! The bladder sucks in the water and the bug in the blink of an eye. It's faster than you can say photosynthesis, and the bug becomes lunch in milliseconds. Talk about a quick meal. Seriously, it's like the plant is saying, come for a swim, stay forever. Rory Dula, the sticky situation. You won't believe. Okay, picture this. You're a totally cool Rory Dula plant, chillin' in South Africa. You're covered in sticky goo, but you can't actually eat the bugs that get stuck. Whoa. Instead, you've got these awesome symbiotic assassin bugs, the Pamaradia roriduli, living on you, eating the trapped insects, and pooping valuable nutrients back for you to absorb. It's like a totally crazy insect-cleaning, fertilizer-dropping service. But wait, there's more. These Pamaradia bugs can also avoid getting stuck in the goo. They just know how to do it, and even though the bugs are providing for Roridula, they also eat the trapped bugs. It's a wild triple threat. Sticky plant, helpful bugs, and unlucky insects. Carnivorous plant helpers. Get this, even carnivorous plants need a little help from their friends. Some pitcher plants have formed symbiotic relationships with insects that actually live inside the pitcher. These insects, often mosquito larvae or special types of spiders, help the plant by breaking down the prey and keeping the pitcher clean. In return, they get a safe home and a readily available food source. It's a bizarre but brilliant example of how different species can work together in the plant kingdom. Talk about an unexpected friendship.